Boeing 777X is the largest twin jet in Boeing's lineup. The larger version, the 777-9, has sold far better than its smaller counterpart, the 777-8. While the capacity of the aircraft is impressive, Boeing has marketed this as a game-changer widebody that could open a number of new route options. Let's take a look. What new routes could the 777X open? This aircraft is designed for long-haul flying, and Boeing has made no secret that it wants the 777X to fly some of the most prestigious routes out there. Some of the suggested routes could be as far as Johannesburg to New York, Chicago to Sydney, Rio de Janeiro to Bombay, and Dubai to Los Angeles. One of the key routes that Boeing is set to take over would possibly be the Singapore to New York route. Currently, this route is flown using an Airbus A350-900 ultra long range in a premium heavy configuration. However, Singapore Airlines, who is operating the route, has apparently had some difficulty with selling premium economy tickets on board. Selling that many economy tickets might be even harder. On a flight that long, coach could really start to become quite brutal. Thus, if the Boeing 777X was deployed to the route, there may be more room on board for passengers and therefore it could be much more platable if given the right configuration. Of course, another advantage of this aircraft is operating to the hot and high airports. Two of the world's biggest hot and high airports are Mexico City and Johannesburg. Both of these airports are capable of handling the 777X and would benefit from this aircraft type. Currently, both of these routes to these cities are in operation, with Iberia and Aeromexico flying between Mexico City and Madrid. Meanwhile, South African Airways flies between New York and Johannesburg. Neither of these lines have the 777X on order, but this could be an invitation for other airlines to open up new long-haul routes to these destinations. After United's last foray into Cape Town, perhaps they could use the 777X to open a new route to Johannesburg. More importantly, however, the, these routes show options of how the 777X could benefit other airlines who fly in and out of hot and high airports. There is another route that I would love to quickly discuss before we finish with this video, and that's how the 777X would be perfect to fly between Dubai and Los Angeles. Although the route is currently being served with an A380, Emirates could upgrade with a second daily frequency using their incoming 777X. Arguably, this would be the most likely of the routes Boeing advertised to be flown with the 777X. Next to this is Mumbai to Sao Paulo. This is one of the interesting routes. For one, it doesn't appear that there would be an Indian airline capable of ordering a 777X and starting this service. Moreover, from the Brazilian end, most likely it would be LATAM to fly this route, especially now that they have the support from Delta. Although LATAM is likely to have other routes on the horizon. The bottom line is that these routes are less about exact destinations that airlines could open and more about the possibilities of what the aircraft could mean. The Boeing 777X capability of doing long haul routes, ranging from garden variety transatlantic to some really long hops, gives airlines the flexibility to choose. Although the aircraft is just a little bit short for Project Sunrise in the eyes of Qantas, who ended up going with the Airbus A350-1000. What do you think the 777X should fly? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, consider clicking that subscribe button.